OK, so up until this point, what we've done is we've used some code to draw a square. We've made sure our pencil is in the same position every single time we run it. We've used the erase tool to make sure it's erased every single time. So now what we can think about is how can we shorten this code? Because this is a lot of code and we're doing the same thing over and over again, particularly these um, points over here. So we're moving, moving, moving four times. So how could we change that? So let's look at that and see how we can do that. So I'm going to start another event and let's put this over here and let's duplicate everything here and add it over and then erase everything here. Okay, so we've got our two pieces of code. This needs to stay the same, okay? We've got to leave that because we've got to put the pen in the right place, we've got to erase all and put our pen down to paper. Now we've got to think, what can we do to actually change this? So we are doing the same thing, we're not using as much code. Well, we need to go over to control, okay? Then we're gonna say, look, there's a repeat here. This is called a loop. Now we want to repeat our loop how many times? Well, there's four sides to a square, so we need to repeat it four times. Now, what are we repeating four times? Well, we're repeating the move and the turn. So let's drag these off and move those inside here. Now, we can get rid of all of this now, because what we're now saying is when the flag is pressed, put it in the right place, put the pen down, and then repeat this, these two commands, how many times? Four times. Okay, so let's try that. So, let's clear. I'm gonna go down to our pen and make sure our, we can just click on this to clear it. So we raise all, our pen is in position. Now, if we run our code, there is our square. So that completes challenge four. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.